Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jamulkar. In last video, we have seen how to create developer org in Salesforce. In this video, we will see how to write our first Apex program in this Salesforce developer org. It is very simple. Apex is similar to Java programming language. Its syntax are similar to Java programming language. So to get login into Salesforce developer org, we have to type this URL. Login dot Salesforce dot com. Then here we have to enter our username and password. So last time that we have seen, we have created one developer org with username admin at jimmyjuxon.com and password here I will enter. Okay, now login. We got this screen. Now we will click on remind me later. Okay, now see, this is Salesforce classic view and we can switch to lightning experience also. Now we will see where we have to write code. So see, in Salesforce Classy, here, this is username, right? I have entered my name, Parag Zambulkar. Click here. Then here, you will find Developer Console. Click on this Developer Console. So, we got this window, right? Now, here, in Debug, in Debug menu, click here. We have one sub-menu. Open Execute Anonymous window. Click on this. Okay. We got this small window, right? So, here, we will write main code now see in java language we have main method right in c and c plus also we have main function whatever the code that we are writing in main method in java language or c c plus language same code here we have to write here we are not writing main method but whatever the code that we have to write in main method that code here we will write now see this is our very simple program just we will print hello world now how to write see here system dot debug debug is method now see in round bracket here we will mention hello world then semicolon now see system is a class debug is a function or method and it is a static method and because of that we can call it by using this class name here in single quote in single quote we are writing whatever the string that you want to print on the screen and at the end we are putting semicolon now see we want to run it right so here we'll take open log we'll click on execute okay so now see we got many statements here many output here right many lines we got but we want actual output right so here we select this checkbox debug only select this checkbox okay debug only right and here we got our output hello world right hello world that output we got now again we will add one more statement see debug open execute anonymous window so already what are the code that we have written it is there now see one thing about apex programming language it is case insensitive language in the sense capital letter and small letter both have the same meaning so what we will do here i am keeping s capital last time we kept s small right now we will write s capital system dot uh, debug okay now i am making b capital just to check debug and in round bracket we will write in single quote hello pune okay and at the end semicolon okay now we will click on execute again we will uh, select this checkbox debug only now see we got this output hello world and hello pune Right? So, in this way, we can write our first Hello World program in Apex programming language. Now, see, again, we will go to our anonymous window. Now, see, suppose I want to run this statement only. Okay, So, I have selected that. Here, they have provided one button, execute highlighted. Right? So, we will click on that. Okay, Again, we will click on this. We will select the checkbox, debug only. Now see, we got output hello Pune, right? So we can select some statements and that particular statement also we can run. Now we will close this window. What are the programming that we have done? That was in Salesforce Classic, right? Now we will see how to run our programming Lightning Experience. So see, we will click on switch to Lightning Experience. Okay, so we got this Lightning Experience, right? Lightning Experience view. Now here on right top, here is a gear icon, right? Gear symbol. So when I take cursor over here, so it is showing setup, right? Click here. 
Now see here there is a developer console right click here again in the same way we got this window then go to debug then click on open execute anonymous window here you can write any code so system dot debug in round bracket here we will write some code hello pi city something like this and semicolon right so that already I have told system is a class predefined class debug is a function and it is a static function and because of that we can call this function by using class name now see open lock will take this then execute then again debug only we got this hello PSD. so in the same way we can write our program in lightning experience so in this video we have seen how to write our first apex program in salesforce developer or in next video we will see different features of apex programming language and in upcoming videos we will see how to implement logic using conditional statement looping statement so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you